Okay, <laughs> I'm really not playing the Xbox. This is the new update to the Ronin S and the Ronin SC. <sighs> How do you like that? Is that not awesome? Let's switch to the real camera. Woo! You can't tell me that isn't the coolest thing you've ever seen for the Ronin S. Um, if you guys haven't been to my channel before, my name is Philip Scrub. It'd be really cool if you, um, it'd be awesome. Just, you know, a little bit of a subscribe. Just press it once. Just once. Once is all you need. Um, wait a second. Mm. Fritz Cola, no sugar. Anyway, this update is full of bugs. <laughs> it really is. I'm sorry I'm starting off on a negative note, but um, I'm really excited for this update because holding this, being able to control your Ronin S with the Xbox or the PlayStation 4 controller is insane and it has a lot of really cool things that you can do now i play games like uh, red dead redemption don't know if you guys know it. it's a little game that rockstar made and i've been holding this since 2001 so it feels really organic in my hand now the problems with the update at the moment are it lags it kicks you out of the application um, it doesn't connect with the Ronin, the, it's not just the wireless um, Xbox or PlayStation controller, it's also like Force Mobile, it's everything with the app. So DJI, if you're listening, can we have an update to the update please, because this is awesome. What you've done with, with this guy connecting to this guy is absolutely awesome. Motion control, great. The, the um, auto tracking, amazing, but this, woo! Now, you're going to have to update to version 1.2.6, but like I said, it's really buggy. Go into Bluetooth, make sure that your Xbox wireless controller or your PlayStation 4 wireless controller is connected. The Xbox is the version 2, so it's nice and smooth at the top. It's got Bluetooth. The version 1 does not have Bluetooth. Learned that the hard way. Then you're going to go into your... Ronin S app. It's gonna hopefully connect with your Ronin. There we go. Now if you just check your firmware, there we go, 1.2.6. So that's all working. Now what you're gonna want to do is go into create and gaming controller. It's a new icon so that's pretty cool. Now like I said it's full of bugs so I'm gonna try and show you how it works. However you guys did see at the beginning that took me about 10 times of turning all this off, turning it back on, resetting it for it to actually work. So, like I said, buggy as hell. But anyway, this update is also extremely important because it actually lets you control the Ronin S with this at about 30 meters distance if you really want. But you can have a camera operator holding the Ronin S and you can be right next to them controlling the Ronin S. Now, that is pretty cool because what the Xbox controller and the PS4 controller allow you to do is control not one, not two, but three axis. So, say we go into this and hopefully it will work. Hopefully it'll work. There we go. And what you can do is you can change the speed of the pan, tilt and roll. You can turn on the gaming controller trigger zoom focus. So with the gaming controller trigger you can using the um, MCC-C or MCC-B cable, control the zoom and focus. Um, and you can also do smoothing, so that's really cool. Smoothing is just like the beginning and the ends are kind of smooth, and then it's faster and more smooth at the end, so it's cinematic. Now, if I press left, it should, in theory, go left. Yeah, it's, like I said, it's a bit buggy. It's probably going to lag and go left right there. Um, now, if I press down, it should go down in a second or two. Or not. Um, <clears throat> like I said, really buggy. There you go. Now, if I press left on the right stick, it should roll, which it does. Um, so, like I said, you have the option right now a free access using this. Um, the update is version 2.1.1.0 for the Ronin S and version 
1.3.0.20 for the Ronin SC. Um, and I'll tell you what it adds. It adds also the ability to motion lapse through photo capture and active track in the Ronin app. Um, also really buggy, so I'm not even gonna try showing you that. Um, it also adds um, a quick function to go into portrait mode. So if you're doing Instagram on your Ronin S, you can quickly go into that using just the click of a, um, a button. Um, also adds advanced um, calibration features. So if your Ronin S is calibrated and it's straight and it starts kind of moving away from you, then um, you'll go into that advanced feature and it will advance calibrate your Ronin S. Um, so no drifting, so that's, that's, that's pretty cool. And like I said, it adds the option for the Xbox and the PS4 controllers. Um, so you can have photo capture, video recording, focus, zoom, profile switch, gimbal movements. And um, you need to have iOS 13 or higher or Android 9 or higher. And that was really all you need for it to work. But like I said, what I sometimes have to do is I have to go out of the app, go back into the app, or I have to even turn everything off the camera, the Ronin S, the controller, and restart everything for it to work. Now let's just try once more, maybe. Yeah, connect Ronin S to use this function. So, buggy, really buggy. And now it says no, oh, it's, it's something that DJI needs to quickly fix. Um, device disconnected, it's, it's, yeah, it's connecting, can't connect to Ronin, please get close, closer for better signal strength or reboot the gimbal. Um, I'm pretty close. <laughs> Let's try creating again. Um, yeah, it's completely laggy, so. So it's a bit of a problem, but at the beginning you saw how it worked and it's really awesome feature. I can imagine using it for some really creative films. So let's hope DJI fixes this update with an other update so it's really stable because the last thing you want is to be using something that's unreliable. You're on a shoot and you want to use this function because the Force Mobile is a little bit too jittery for me. Here you can really smooth it out and use all free um, access. And the last thing you want is for it to be unreliable. So DJI, please fix it. It doesn't work at the moment, but when it does, it is gonna be awesome. Anyway, I hope this kind of gave you a little bit of info about the latest update. Um, it'd be awesome if you, you know, gave me a thumbs up, subscribed, and um, we've got a Mavic 2 Pro Mavic Mini video coming up in the next couple of days. Hope you check it out. <laughs> See you guys later on the next side. On the next side. Catch you on the other side. <laughs>